Hello and welcome everybody to Java MySQL Tutorial Part 6. Here's Ahmad Nasser from Birchett University and in this tutorial I gotta teach you how to connect the DAO object to the user interface for the view form and the insert form. So let's do this. As all time, don't forget to subscribe. And after you subscribe, make sure you have subscribed the channel. Let's begin. So we go to NetBeans, and here we got a a, da a DAO view form. So you just double click on the DAO view form. You can see here we got a table and we got a button. So there's a button here, load button. We need to add a functionality to this button. So when we click on this button. We're gonna call the data x object get all student method and we gotta bring them all and bind them into the table. So in order to do this we need to do the following. We just double click on the load. We come up to this uh, G button action. But before we add any line of code make sure to import the Java SQL exception, the Java UTL array list and the Java Swing Table Default Table Model. We need to add these three things. After that, we're ready to type the code. So, in order to do, to make this functioning, we need to add the following. First thing we need we call the data x object by using student DAO equal new data x object. We make a new array list equal new array list of students and we trying to get all the users and add them to this array list by using the following try catch statement and the following for each loop after this we need to create something very important when you work with a custom table or G table we need to create a default table model so the default table model lead you to access the G table in an easy way. So we create a default table model and a change of this table model will affect the G table. So we need to create a columns name. So we got ID, name, address. We need three. So here we created three objects and we created a default table model. After this we just give it the names of these columns. We have an ID, we have a a name so let me just type name and we have an address and also we need to take this columns in names and assign them to the default table model by using set columns identifiers for the columns names so we use this method after this we need to bring this data that we have taken from the uh, from the in, in, from the list and take them and insert them into the table. In order to do that, I just created a, a, a student hash map, okay, which get the i index of the list retrieved from the data x object. So you know here we got a list l that has been taken and added. All the retrieved object from the data object model, we take all these objects and put them inside the, the 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 list or the array list or the list that we have now. So we add all these objects and assign them into this list. And after this, we need to convert each retrieved student object into an object. So this is what we have done down. We created. Uh, as you can see here we created a list of objects and we take this uh, value from the student object or the hash map and convert it into a string and after this operation we add all these retrieved objects because notice here when you add something to the table okay to the default model you need to add an object. So we convert everything into an, uh, an object by converting everything into an, a string, onto string, and add this string to
to an object so that's what you can see here we just say uh, default model that add row because we add in rows here we add in this array of object so because we have three columns we adding name and uh, ID name and address we add in three columns so this is what we have done here three columns in one row so this is all what we have done this is all the story okay so after this after creating all this into the table model and fill the table model we are ready to set this table model into the G table so after this we just go to this form this the G table that we have this G table we just take the default model and set it as the model of this G table so after this you are ready to to access uh, the, the to you know to change the table so if you go to the DAO view form you go type a load button you gotta execute all this code and after that you can see we got all the uh, we, we got all the records okay the same as in the first uh, feature that we have developed when we data service form you got all the values and here we got the same thing but you need to call them from the object not from the service so he, as you can see here okay this is uh, how you can work with uh, uh, the data view form in order to work with the insert form it's a similar issue just come and save you need to uh, come here and access the student the connection first so we need to type and make a new connection okay make a new connection okay we need to uh, you know uh, okay and we need to also bring the data the student data x object okay and okay there's no need to put in my connection because it's retrieved from the DAO object and what we're gonna do here is importing SD the uh, we have an insert statement so insert employee so let me change this method to to something insert student so hurry up uh, uh, we talking about data here insert student student and change this to uh, school insert into school student student okay fine save this insert form is the uh, insert student we just can type um, anything like you know as you as, as you can see here uh, for a student DAO object there is an ID here but as we can see here we don't need to insert the ID because it's auto increment so forget about the ID okay and forget about the ID from here also okay so just come here you can retrieve the data from the uh, you know from the uh, from the text box but I don't want to do this I just want to type anything like Hulu hola just type Healy Healy anything man come on save it insert form uh, okay we just need to insert into the student but need to create it surround with a try catch statement okay save it one it and we can go to insert form type something save 
come here data service form you can see here we got Hulu Hola and Hili Hili so it's here you know and the ID is auto increment so what you can do here is just instead of taking Hulu Hola and the other stuff you just take it from the text field so this is pretty much for this tutorial guys I hope you like it this is all the story that we are talking about nothing fancy here it's a uh, um, it's a very nice tutorial I think I hope you like it so all the time make sure to subscribe to subscribe Stereo 007 at YouTube Ahmad Nasser with you all the time from Birzit University and see you in other series and tutorials don't forget to subscribe guys and I hope you like it see you later thanks peace